Hi, this is Brian Klug with Anantech, and what I'm showing off is uh, HDMI mirroring on the LG Optimus 2X. So what I have here is the uh, LG Optimus 2X. Um, the HDMI port is at the top, um, right under this little door here. Uh, and I have the uh, supplied cable, which is micro HDMI to HDMI, plugged into my AV receiver. Uh, and if I can get it in here, um, there we go. So I plugged it in and immediately will connect and mirror exactly what I'm showing on here um, on the TV. So you can see there's there's not a lot of lag. There's a tiny little bit of lag. Um, you can see there's just, it's almost imperceptible. It's really only noticeable if you're looking at, if you're holding the phone somewhere where you can look at the TV and the phone at the same time, um, which is pretty hard. Generally, if you're typing or interacting with the phone, it makes more sense to actually look at the phone, especially if you're, you know, doing stuff with touch events. So anyways, um, one of the cool things is that when you go into landscape, so I'm going to rotate right here, when it auto-rotates, the, uh, the display actually fills um, the TV appropriately. So obviously it's, it's 1080p. Um, the output is actually being upscaled. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but uh, it's just it's definitely obvious, at least with text, that there's some upscaling going on. But it, it looks quite good, actually, uh, especially for that 800 by 480 display. Um, and there's no real slowdown. This is kind of how, at least I can tell, you know, subjectively, how the phone always feels. Uh, so you can browse around and do basically everything you would do on the phone normally and just get a second display that's huge. So let's see. Oh. Click on this. Just do some browsing. Um, obviously, everything works just just like it used to on Android. Um, just a huge display. So, I mean, one of the other cool things is you can actually play media back uh, over HDMI, like music. Um, let's find some music. So I think that's pretty useful. Um, I remember this being kind of a challenge to get working on the Droid X. Uh, you basically had to do something to get the HDMI connection working, sort of in a context where it was supported, and then play media back, and then you really couldn't do anything. So at least on here, you can just keep going. Um, you know, I guess browse the web listening to music, or you know, just do whatever you'd normally be doing. Um, if you want to check your email on a huge screen, um, etc. Um, so what else is there that's cool? Obviously you could look at photos. Let's go back. So I have some cool photos of the Nexus 1 taken on here. Um, hey, I can use the gestures to go to the next photo, that's pretty cool. If you haven't seen that already. Um, so, of course, those are accelerometer gestures. So, I mean, you could use the, the phone as a slideshow aid, ostensibly. Um, so, of course, in settings, you can actually change the resolution over HDMI. So, there's the setting um, up at the top, resolution. Uh, and then if we come in here, you can change it from automatic, 1080, 720, 480, etc. So if you change it to 1080, which is what we're at now, nothing really changes. Um, but then we can show 720p just for fun. So, yeah, around 720p. Uh, we're back on auto. So I mean, the connection is pretty fast. That's probably more my AV receiver than the phone. Uh, if we stop playback and then we can try some media. So I'm going to open up some... I have different videos encoded. I have uh, transcoded Man on Fire to uh, 1080p baseline, uh, which plays back without any drop frames. So what it's showing right here is I've already played it and it's asking me do I want to resume playing uh, from the existing point. So I'll just say start over. So what you get is on this phone it will show showing on second display with the playback controls, of course you can scrub and change your um, aspect scaling uh, and then the main display will actually show the the media 
And this seems to enable and disable a spatializer, like some Dolby stuff, software. Um, so there's no, there's no, there's no lights lit up on the uh, AV receiver that are showing, you know, we're using 5.1 or anything. Um, but still, this is pretty impressive that you're able to do this. And that could also just be um, the way I encoded it. I haven't actually explored yet. Um, so that works. Uh, if we come back out... Um, oops, no, I don't want to play anymore. Uh, really, basically, I, I follow the sort of example that NVIDIA set in their specs. So they say 1080p baseline decodes. Um, I'd stick to that, so just one reference frame. Uh, if you try to do the iPhone 4 level, um, so this is this is encoded just using the iPhone 4 preset and handbrake, uh, which is, I believe, high profile uh, with that 960 resolution. You can see it sort of drops frames, and right there it's definitely speeding back up. Um, but if you follow their guidelines, then it works just fine. Uh, and th there are guidelines were just kind of what what I went off of based on this video clip folder. Um, it's asking me again whether I want to resume playing. So I mean, it's just basically an NVIDIA video. Um. So what else is there to show that's cool? Uh, of course you can play Angry Birds at 1080p on a display. You don't have to wait for it to come out on console. You can just do it. Um, and this works really well. Of course, it's hard to play actually looking at the TV. Um, because obviously you're, you can't really see where your fingers are. So it'd be nice to see, you know, sort of what Palm used to do with their WebOS demos and show a little circle where your finger is. But unfortunately, there's no such thing yet on here. So I mean, although you can do it, it's not really, it's not really tailored exactly for playing on a TV yet. But I mean, it looks good. Um, but I mean, you can also sort of see the little flaws and what textures they're using at high resolution and where anti-aliasing is. Um, but I mean, these things are going to change and get better, obviously. I immensely dislike this level, by the way. Anyhow, uh, there's other games too we could show. Um, the uh, Galaxy on Fire 2 doesn't auto rotate, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, but of course, this, isn't, this still isn't really released yet. And it could just be an implementation problem. Uh, I mean, obviously stuff is going to get better as people get this in their hands and start doing more testing. What else could we show? Basically everything you can do on the phone, you can do um, on here. And uh, that's that's pretty sweet. Especially if you're going to use this as you know, like a presentation aid uh, with, say, PDFs. That That makes a lot of sense. Um, and that's, that's something that's also pretty cool. Maybe we'll start to see, you know, once we get Office on here, it being used as sort of a PowerPoint tool. Um, I think, I think that's basically it. Uh, HDMI mirroring definitely works. Tiny bit of input lag. Um, media plays back fine. Um, I like to do this with the camera. You can see, uh, the camera does work and it is being mirrored. So you can stare at the TV through like a million copies. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.